Hey, what's up everybody? Manny Coates here with Helium 10 and today I'm going to be talking about some changes to the UI. Okay, so first of all, when you log into the members area, you're going to see a bunch of buttons here uh, for all the the tools. This is going to be changing in the near future as well. We've got some really cool UI stuff coming up. Um, I'm going to talk about two more things. One is where you might be noticing that some of the buttons you're used to are missing in the tools, you would think. I'm going to show you where they're at. The other thing, real quick though, is that we've organized or reorganized the list uh, order of the tools. We now do them in the order in which we think Amazon sellers would use things. Right? If you're first starting out, you're in the product research phase. So at the very top, you got product research, right? With Black Box, Trendster, you got X ray over here here in the extension uh, Chrome extension as well then after that you would probably go into keyword research which we have with magnet and Cerebro then you're gonna take those keywords and you would process them in Frankenstein and then you would take those process keywords move and move them into scribbles and then once you have that all optimized and uploaded to your listing you want to see if your index so that would be the next step and then you want to track everything through a keyword tracker and make sure people aren't hijacking your listing uh, protect your inventory if you're doing a product launch and then of course um, once you've been selling for a while you probably are owed money by Amazon so you have refund genie that's kind of the order right so it makes sense now you can go from the top to the bottom the other thing is if you go into a tool let's say we go into scribbles okay um, instead of everything being up at the top which was kind of confusing um, tool specific buttons are going to be down here on this second line okay the top line is going to be for the entire suite okay except for this learn button okay when you click on the learn button it brings up videos specific to the tool set that you're in. Okay, now that is probably going to move down here in the middle right uh, eventually. Um, if we go into Cerebro, the other thing that you know, I remember earlier, I was talking about how buttons might be missing. Let me show you that. Um, and first, let me go into history and open up something so we have some data. Okay. Again, at the top, you no longer have your import or sorry, your your history and export. It's all down here. OK, so once you have data, you can click on the export button. It's all on the right hand side. OK, so it's not missing. It's all there. Same thing with magnet. Um, we're trying to keep everything consistent. Right. So it's nice and neat. So you'll see specific buttons for a specific tool are right here. And then everything else on the top is for more of an account wide type uh, type button so that's it guys keep on using the tools to maximize um, everything you're doing with Amazon and keep on crushing it talk to you later